Well, today I thought we'd take a look at the greenhouse, the shade house garden, which is just outside the music room. This is the side of the house that's actually built into a wall of rock which is hidden over there behind the giant sword fern. So it makes perfect place to establish a greenhouse. As you can see, covered by shade cloth to protect the plants from sun, mainly. And also this side of the house they're protected from the wind. So let's have a look. We have lots and lots of Moses in a basket. And down the end, one of the caladiums is just starting to wake up. It's broken through the ground. The long strappy leaves that you can see all over the place is the yellow walking iris which at the moment is flowering. These gorgeous little blooms usually only last a day and they close up at night as well. But the other thing about the greenhouse garden is the hanging pots. Lots and lots of Beautiful begonia. This is the dragon ring, which I absolutely adore. And I have quite a few little pelagoniums. This is the Vilda Dresden, which is one of my favourites. And just going on over this side, lots more dragon wings, as you can see. And plenty of yellow walking iris as well. Ah, if we move on over here, let's have a look at some of the other plants. There's a little pentas that's popped up in here. Rather straggly but beautiful colours. And there's a lovely yellow iris. And up here, I love the purple of this one, Valeria, sometimes regarded as a weed but I like to keep it in pots and it rewards me beautifully. Alright, lots and lots of giant sword fern. And I don't know if you can see the little bloom on that here. Brazilia. Happy plant. Dracaenas. Got a few of those in here. And my giant alocasia. My big elephant ear plant. And another new leaf unfurling there. Take a look at the size of the leaves on this, it's massive. And oh, just see the Moses in a basket. Some of it is flowering. I love those little boat lily flowers, they're gorgeous. And hidden in there, too, if I can find it. Aha! Gorgeous little fern struggles to pop up through all that and hidden away as well is beautiful little variegated spiral ginger costas and here's another spiral ginger this one has little orange flowers there's the first one appearing for spring else is in here? Staghorn ferns. I've got a few baskets of impatience. This is impatience. 
Lorena, Loriana, all hanging over there. And if we come back, this is Impatience Hokkeri, the New Guinea Impatience, but this was this is the older variety. It has rather large single flat flowers. It's a perfect plant for the greenhouse. It thrives in here. And oh, down here I've also got a little splish splash geranium. It's a new one for me this year. I'm waiting for the flowers. And my lilies waiting for those. They're coming. Beautiful cordline red wings, love it. I've actually got two in here at the moment. Ah, yes, if we come back. There's Stramanthi, this is the trio star. Has the most fabulous, beautiful foliage. Love the variegations on that. Okay. As I said, lots and lots of yellow walking iris. And what else have we got? Collars, lots of different sorts. Okay, if I go down the stairs. And some collars in bloom at the moment too. Ah, now. Back there in this Alpinia, there's a variegated one. And beautiful Calathea. I absolutely love this one. I love the way it folds up its leaves at night. Okay. Mm, more and more walking iris and some pinky fingers. Actually, that's on both sides. Quite a bit of that. It's a cane begonia there as well. More happy plants. Haven't flowered this year. Beautiful perfume when they do though. Alright, I'm going along. More dragonwing begonias. There's my purple Imperium. Love the colour. Oh, and that's my toad lily, but it's not flowering at the moment. Lots more colours. Dry one. And if we have a look up here, it's a variegated umbrella tree. Scoplera. A nice specimen that one. Now I've also got a few philodendrons climbing up to posts in here and Aurelia and back up here this is one of the pink dragon wings. So I'm just going to pan around now so we can have a look slowly. Very lush, very tropical out here. Now down this end is the working end of the nursery the greenhouse. Um, not very pretty to look at. I've got ah, some lovely plants a lovely lady sent to me in the post not long ago. Potted up um, collis cuttings that I've been taking off as well. A beautiful polka dot plant, Hoppo Really do like this 
colors. This is lovely. And this is a calathea that's just beginning to grow again. It's been having a bit of a sleep over the winter. So new growth popping up. Beautiful markings. And now we get to the really ugly bit. We've got <laughs> some crochet cuttings going on there. Bromeliads that need to be divided. And this is where I do a lot of my potting. Uh, I've got a few little orchids down the back there. I don't know the names of these. They were given to me. They're coming along slowly. And back around, I also have this little bench outside my kitchen window where I keep some of my Rex begonias, which I adore. I love the foliage on these. All showing new growth at the moment with the spring. And this beauty has those tiny little white flowers. It's so pretty. Then I have my, I bought some um, impatience, a double impatience at the moment. Uh, it was a beautiful red and white, as you can see from that little flower, but it's reverted back to red. Uh, maiden hair over there, little tiny one. So, that is pretty much all there is growing out here. In amongst all the ferns and the walking iris there's a lot of creeping charlie. Um, oh here we go. There it is there. Lots and lots of that which helps to retain the moisture in the soil. So Take another walk back. Some more of my potted plants. I have my hanging potted plants, and that's pretty much it.